And so welcome everyone. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I think most of us are in India. So our uh, IBS staff, where we try to include everyone from all over the world, doesn't apply here. So good afternoon, and great to see you all. We have quite a turnout, and I'm sure more people will be joining. Uh, so welcome. This is one of not the first, but this is one of my first few interactions with the young investigator community in this new role. And so I really look forward to more interactions, and I look forward to working with you in the years to come. Um, as you already may know, India Bioscience has launched the, the regional. Uh, if you could just please ah, okay. mute yourself. Um, sir, and the only thing, sir, the eligibility. You are ten years in. I am saying, sir, you are. So yes, oh, I wait, can understand. I will un unmute. No, no worries. I can oh, understand. Means I mean, Everyone has work going on at this time. So, as you may know, India Bioscience has launched the regional um, young investigator grants. These are grants for young investigator teams. So, they are team grants to host a um, YIM-esque, a young investigator meeting, like regional meeting in your local community, amongst your local institutes, uh, in collaboration with each other. So, the intention of these regional meetings is to be young investigator-driven meetings. not only to promote the ethos of the national young investigator meetings which is a flagship program of india bioscience that happens once a year in february march each year so the idea is to promote the ethos of these yim meetings in regional and local scientific communities and also foster a collaborative leadership among the young investigators in the region so this session is for potential applicants we look forward to your applications we look forward to hosting a meeting with you to give you a brief overview this session is to give you a brief overview of what the grants and application process is like and then at the end to discuss your queries and clarifications so we will get right ahead then with that because we want to give enough time for queries and clarifications so suji we can move to the next slide all right so the you know it's going to be maybe 15 20 minutes of me talking and then hopefully us discussing your queries and clarifications so i'll start with a brief introduction to india bioscience and our team that makes all of this happen uh, we'll talk about the regional young investigator meeting grants uh, i'll present some guidelines of the grants which is basically roles and responsibilities what will you do what will we do how you can go about applying very importantly what to expect after you put all that time and energy into building an application package so what do you expect after that and then we will launch into an open question and answer session so i hope that sets up the next few minutes to come so um india bioscience we are a national organization um which facilitates life sciences in india so we are a catalyst for change uh, through affecting the culture and practice in the field and we engage with academia government industry and in doing so we are a facilitator and we are uh, we sort of bridge different aspects of life sciences in india our work involves researchers and working with researchers and science professionals just like you young investigators like you we also work with educators primarily undergraduate educators and the large student community in india phd students as well as masters and undergraduate students in the years to come we look forward to expanding our reach expanding our presence and work with all of you on that note we'll move on suchi so our expansion our work um involves these verticals so networking and mentoring is a big focus area and the regional young investigator meeting grants comes under this area we are also very uh, involved in science communication through our website we have a strong digital presence for science communication we have an education vertical through our workshops that i'll talk to you a little bit more about and how they tie into the regional liam grants we have a skill building vertical we also uh, want to are looking to expand our data and policy vertical and our digital initiatives is definitely one of our strongest presence through webinars such as these podcasts and our website so lots of places and opportunities for us to be working together and believe it or not it's this team that makes all of this possible um so very uh, happy to be working with all of them and we are a team all our effort is a is a collaborative effort amongst the seven of us and you can see suchi and manjula right here in the webinar today and the others may also be joining uh, all right so so coming to the regional young investigator meeting so these were launched uh, they were a product of community driven conversations at the 10th young investigator meeting which was in tiruvananthapuram in 2018 
So the regional YIMS were launched in 2018-19, and the idea was really to bring YIM to local and regional communities and foster leadership amongst local young investigators. So in 2018-19, pre-pandemic, there were four regional meetings held: Hyderabad, Delhi, Jodhpur, and Calcutta. They were all young investigator-driven endeavors. And then, of course, the pandemic happened, and we didn't have anything. No regional meetings in 2020, 21, and 22. So now in 2023, we are launching the regional young investigator meetings, but with a new avatar. We can move to the next slide. This time, uh, we have put it as a grant. So we are invite inviting calls from teams, regional young investigator teams, for these to host these meetings. Um, the idea is to you know make young investigators in local communities come together, build their leadership, and build community. So this is our web page. Lots more details are there, and you can visit that. But I'll give you a brief overview in the next few slides. Next slide, please. So, what does it take to apply for this grant? So, you need to be a lead organizer. The lead organizer will be a YIM alumni, so someone who's attended the young investigator meeting, the national meeting, as a young investigator, not as a postdoc, as a young investigator. And this could be the virtual meeting, which we had for two years, or the several in-person meetings we've had, and is an independent investigator for less than eight years. This includes Ramanujan, Ramalinga Swami, and DST Inspire fellows, which are considered as independent faculty positions, but less than eight years, and a YIM alumni as a young investigator. So, any questions on this? Please let me know. I hope this is clear. But then, this is not an individual grant. We are emphasizing that this is a team grant. So, it also means that the lead organizer will work with co-organizers. We recommend two to four co-organizers who are from the region. So that, therefore, it makes sense to be having a regional meeting, who are also young investigators for less than eight years. So co-organizers do not have to be YIM alumni. They may or may not have attended a YIM. So I hope the aspect of co-organizers is clear. One thing to say that we encourage the lead organizer and co-organizers to belong to different institutes, thereby bridging institutes in the region. That sort of serves the mandate of this. Program of this meeting of this grant, and it's also recommended they are diverse in scientific expertise as best as possible, like ecologists, you know, computational biologists, for example, microbiologists, and we would like to see a diversity of institutes like ICER, IIT, state, central universities, as much as possible. Of course, all regions may not have all institutes, and there may be other considerations, but we are looking for a very diverse team. As far as possible. All right. So once you've assembled a team, what's next? And we hope you're starting to think of who is in your region and starting to look around. So we can move to the next slide. So what next after that? What do what is the regional young investigator meeting going to look like? So the lead organizer who has attended a young investigator national meeting will hopefully know this. Um, so it's going to basically involve uh, a broad sorry. range of sorry, yes. Can I ask the question now or later? Later, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, so the program schedule would include a broad range of science topics. You can include those relevant to the region. Um, you know, could be infectious diseases, could be other challenges. Uh, also, contemporary issues related to diversity in science, research ethics, research management, lab leadership are all welcome. So they can be science as well as associated with science. They can be talks. Structured panels, because to be honest, we've had a lot of panels in recent times, but talks, keynotes. Round tables, networking sessions, and when you apply for them, we hope we we intend that all the meetings should be done before end of March, twenty twenty four. So keep that timeline in mind. Another thing is, young investigator meetings are no garland events, so we will not uh, be you know they do not support uh, things like um, mementos and garlands and very elaborate uh, sort of displays. We rather keep them informal, collaborative, in a spirit of teamwork. And young investigator meetings have been like that, and we want to promote that ethos in local communities. Um, so, what India Bioscience will give is up to six grants. That's what we put out there. The grants will be up to two lakhs each, depending on what your budget that you propose to us. Six, the number, where has it come from? It's come from the six broadly defined regions in India, but you could define this in any other way as as well, regional in any other way. This is just to explain to you what we mean by regional, but. You know, it could be extended to other definitions as well. Uh, so, India Bioscience will give you up to two lakhs. Uh, typically, a regional meeting will involve, for say, seventy-five to hundred participants, uh, will involve a budget of about ten lakhs, eight to ten lakhs at least. And so, the rest of the money is expected to be raised from other sources. This can be your own host institutes. This could be 
uh, grants like DST and CERB. This could be sponsorship from biotech companies, from science editing companies, publishing houses. And if you bring three institutes together, you know, raising six to eight lakhs should not be a problem. It's been done in the past for the other four meetings, as you can see. All right, so moving on to the next slide. So when you apply, we would need the names and details of the lead organizer and the co-organizers. We encourage you to think of a theme for your regional meeting. Now, this theme is not neurobiology or embryonic development, for example. It has to be a broad theme, such as um, challenges in, or opportunities and challenges in academia industry collaborations, uh, translational research uh, in the current time. So they have to be interdisciplinary fields with broad context. And you could also suggest ideas and we'll let you know if something would work at the end of this meeting. We need some details like your CVs. Importantly, we need a letter of support from your institutes. This is really not to increase your administrative and bureaucratic work. It's more to sort of make sure your institutes are in the know-how and are open to you playing a part in this. Further, for the institute that intends to host it, there will be one host institute. We would also like them to recommend in that letter that they are willing to host it. And the format of this letter is uh, the details are provided on our grants page. Finally, we want a formal request letter for funding. This is to say that the institute that will receive this money is open to receiving this money and will disperse this money for the purpose of this meeting. So a little bit of administrative work. We've tried to keep it as less as possible, but just so that we are both on the same page moving forward. All right, so next slide. Then the whole meat, I mean, this is administrative work. This is some technical information we need, but the whole meat of this grant is going to be your application package. And we've given you a very liberal, uh, you know, five pages that you can write about this. So why do you want, why does this community need a regional meeting? Come up with some kind of schedule so that we can give inputs also uh, when we support the grant or when we uh, tell you that you've been awarded the grant. Um, what kind of topics would you have? How are you ensuring a diverse set of speakers across demographics and gender? Are the topics contemporary? Are they relevant? And those are the kind of uh, proposed schedule. You don't need speaker confirmations yet, but suggested speakers would be useful because we would at least know you have someone in mind. Now, who is the meeting open to? While we say it's a young investigator meeting, it's definitely open to young investigators, faculty, scientists, staff scientists, postdocs, senior PhDs, as well as industry, communicators, public engagement professionals. So it's intended to be a very broad meeting. And um, we hope, you, hope for you to look at 75 to 100 participants at least. And then we just want you to write the outcome. How will it benefit your community? Interestingly, another source of funding is the registration. Regional EMs are allowed to charge a registration fee. You can mention that in your application package and also mention what it will cover. For example, will it cover accommodation? Will it cover meals? Will it not cover travel? Are participants expected to cover travel? That's also fine. We've left that up to you the organizers, because if it's a regional meeting, then travel should be something you can consider, but you don't have to necessarily support because hopefully people will be able to reach there and a lesser budget. So this is something you can keep in mind. Um, also, you can support childcare grants. You could, for example, say we support travel grants for PhD students because they may or may not have fellowships, but you don't for faculty and YIs. So it's really up to you to plan that out. In doing so, we also want to build your to um, help build your um, event or you know meeting organization abilities so it's open to you you can think about that uh, so next slide please so what we add in right you're going to be doing all of this work in preparing this application package but what we add in is that we have an option in our application form if you would like um the india bioscience team can come there either on day two or day three of the meeting or the day before the meeting. They are intended to be two day meetings or two and a half day meetings, not longer than that. Up to two days is also fine, but we could come at one day of the meeting as decided between us and conduct our very well received crafting your career workshop. This is for PhD students and postdocs. So we will come with the team. We will conduct this one day workshop. And what we really expect from you is a room and some tech, tech, tech logistics to conduct the workshop. Also, you could help us with selecting the PhD students and postdocs. So we'll come to division of roles and responsibilities shortly, but this is something that we can do for you if you would like. We would also like to be there at your meeting and facilitate it. 
so you can add this in your application if if you think it's suitable okay so moving on to sort of a little more of the brass tacks you know so brass tack what are we going to do what are you going to do so we define ourselves india bioscience is a facilitator in these meetings so we do provide you a seed fund but like we said you're expected to raise additional money there are options for that when you give you the grant or when you're awarded the grant we will help you make a we will make rather a poster for your meeting we will make a meeting page which will be hosted on our website we will look at your schedule and you know program schedule and offer uh suggestions on topics and speakers um we will also once the meeting page is finalized help you promote this via our social media newsletter email so regional uh, organizations and science professionals will know about this meeting we will send a science writer to cover the meeting because we would like to have the takeaways published on our website after the meeting and if you need for sponsorships or grants or host institute funding purposes some letters we are happy to provide that and we can do the crafting your career workshop if you would if you would like now our meeting page will also have a registration form where people will be able to register so moving on to what you do there like what is your role in this so we are a facilitator you will be the organizer so the next slide please um we will you know request you to create a specific email id in a format provided for the meeting so that you have access to that id uh, as you get inquiries uh, share the institutional bank account so this was that you know let uh, request for funding support um once you've been awarded the grant we we'd like to transfer the money at the earliest so you can share one institute will receive the entire sum uh, you share poster and meeting page requirements we will make it you know we will ask you what we need we will make it host it on our website uh, you will create a google form for registration which we will host on our website because only you know what that involves like are you offering travel grants what is the registration fee what's the last day to register what's the accommodation plan and so on you will give us a final schedule of meeting uh, of the meeting speakers and participants um you will need to raise additional funds that's something to keep in mind and then some logistics and other things we will need for the crafting your career workshop so we will facilitate this including meeting page poster publicity and sort of the on ground organization is what we would be leaving up to you it's also so that you know you can do it your way and we don't have to impose any ideas on you all right so we can then move on to the next slide we may come back to questions about this so what happens after you submitted the last date is may 25th as it's on our meeting page uh, we will set up a selection committee there will be three external members and three members from india bioscience and we are really looking to support awardees to be honest really honest we are looking to support so we are going to be looking at feasibility like have you thought of additional funding because this is not going to be enough and we said it's a seed grant um i mean do we there's the host institute uh um, have the facilities to host a meeting of this size and capacity have you really thought of the program like have you tried to include contemporary scientific issues uh, issues that affect science the working of science in india like diversity and ethics um have you you know that's something that would be given additional points and what would be the value of the yim for that region which we've asked you to write about so we would really want you to think about it but at the same time we want to meet you halfway we do want to be able to give you this grant so you said that it's up to total of 6 and you can propose a budget from us of up to 2 lakhs um and we will transfer the entire sum in one installment after it's been awarded and we will notify you in mid june so we want to keep the time window between the deadline of 26 may and you getting to know whether you've been awarded or not very quick so that you can start really planning it planning the next stages so we will notify everyone on email um by mid june the awardees as well as you know um those who we may not have been able to support um we will notify you by mid june all right uh, i can see some questions filtering in at least in the private um, my private chat window but we can now open this up for questions um please feel free to type it in or feel free to unmute and ask the question um yeah look forward to hearing what you think about this and how you could possibly take it further uh Good evening, ma'am. I'm Maya Dray from uh, CLR at Chennai. Um, Good evening. Uh, well, it's a really great uh, initiative. First of all, uh, we are also missing it for a very long time. We are also trying to uh, do it in our uh, regional uh, okay. area to not gather. So my question is: the first yes. one you mentioned that 
less than eight years. Uh, you mean that um, the 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 lead uh, investigator should have less than eight years. You mean that uh, uh, I'm yes. not, I'm a little confused. What you what are you trying to say there? Uh, so uh, from the point of your independent faculty position as assistant professor or scientist D or Ramachandra Swami faculty or DST Inspire faculty or you know less than eight years from what is defined as an independent faculty position. Oh, uh, I, I suppose uh, I should have eight years experience of as an independent. Not you, no, 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 less than eight years. This is less. not about if you should be young investigator, you should be early career. We yeah. want to support early career. So you should be less than eight years. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have eight years. You'd be five years, four years. It should not be more than eight years. Okay. Okay. So for example, I joined in 2013 as a scientist. Now I'm, I'm just confused whether I'm, I'm I think I'm Was it a scientist? A... What, uh, so if it was an independent position? Yes, yeah, sorry, independent position. In 2013? Yeah, uh, uh, we can take this over email exactly what that position designation was. Okay. We can maybe, um, yes, what do you think, Manjula Sochi? Yes. Maybe we could take that over email. Yes. Okay. To exactly understand what that position was. Sure, yeah. please. Thank you for your interest. We'll get back to you once you email us. Sure, sure. Um, Karishma, yes, if he cannot, in case he, if he cannot be a lead organizer, can he be a co organizer in that case or that is also? Uh, no, we've said less than eight years for co organizers. Late ages. as okay, well. Okay. Yes. So some yeah, the idea maybe, is, can we? Uh, is uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's really about being a YI driven endeavor. And we've really kept the margin eight years as far as we could stretch the definition of early career faculty. But please Hello. do email. Yes, Hello. we have more Vish, questions. Uh, Vishu yeah. is uh, uh, raised his hand. So. Vishu? Thank you, Manjula. So uh, very nice, uh, you know, good to see this uh, notification coming. We were actually discussing last time when we met uh, in IIT faculty and, uh, you know, LV Prasad Institute, there was a recent program. So we were discussing about conducting in June, July. So uh, there was a commitment from Mahindra University and uh, LV Prasad and, you know, others said they will go back to their institute. So we were actually planning already. So when this came, we thought, uh, you know, anyways, we wanted to come back and update you because the last YM in Hyderabad, the regional YM was exceptionally good. Yes. Uh, and 13 students, uh, 13 you know, faculty who participated received the grants and they raised more than 20 crores. Six companies were formed. So from IKP and, you know, my career point of view, it has been exceptionally great. So I am willing to do whatever they wanted. So here mm -hmm. we are not looking for funding per se because if these institutes are giving, uh, but we want the India Biosense to be part of this thing. But certainly, uh, we were not thinking about, you know, writing for funding, but we wanted a partnership with you. So in this. Uh, so I think the uh, you you will have to apply for the grant. I okay. think please go ahead and apply. At that's this point, that's the sort of, so that's the sort of, uh, yeah, engagement that we will be very open. To. Please do apply for it. Because okay. uh, beyond the scope of the grant, it'll have to be another discussion altogether. But please do apply for it. Why don't you want our money? Certainly. So, <laughs> money, All right. money is always yes. we are thinking actually because uh, around 170 is a faculty strength and you know all the institutes, universities in and around Hyderabad when we calculated. So last time without any promotion, it was around 110, 120 and this time uh, everybody knows you know all these things. That time nobody knew actually in so much detail. Yes, yes. So without please. anything, 100 plus. So we thought we need much more money and we are planning. Certainly please we'll apply. Think. Please so do. by the and way, we, Vishu was one of the organizers for uh, Hyderabad uh, Regional EM, like the first Regional EM. Yeah. Excellent. Wonderful. So welcome back. Thank you. And um, we kept the window broad May 25th because we anticipated that people will need time to put it all together. Yeah. So Shubhra, uh, can you go ahead and ask your question? Hi, uh, myself Shubhra Mujumdar from Presidency University uh, and uh, I was uh, part of the uh, organizers of the second uh, regional YIM at Kolkata. And uh, I had a question in mind, but uh, I, we will apply certainly. Uh, we made a team uh, already. We made a team uh, Wonderful. around Kolkata. Uh, Wonderful. And we will certainly apply. I, uh, before my serious question, I was uh, just asking, uh, Vishu was one of our uh, lead speaker during uh, our, our regional YIM. If Vishu yes. doesn't, doesn't really need money, we can share the money. I mean, uh, if you uh, if you allow, uh, it looks like Vishu doesn't need it. 
<laughs> but anyways, uh, uh, besides that, that, that thing. So I, yeah. uh, unfortunately, technically, I missed uh, the first few minutes. Uh, and I'm just wondering, uh, so the cutoff, you said two to four people um, to apply. Yeah, it's uh, just broad. It's broad. It, it, okay. it doesn't mean we, we will not be open to an application with five. These are guidelines. Yeah, so it basically means what, that it shouldn't be it shouldn't be just the lead organizer. Ah, oh, I I, I see. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, we the I mean you know the there are certain uh, universities and institutes are here um, around Kolkata, and uh, I talk to many of them, uh, and we are like at least uh, six or seven institutes. So if even if I pick one uh, one percent yes. from each institute yes. that I, we really yes. want to make this team to happen so then yes. it will be like six six people yeah, that's so is fine. that that is fine that's absolutely but this is just a guideline okay and the second question regarding the budget so um, I, I heard that part that we have to uh, definitely provide a, a budget and this budget should uh, include or like you know uh, like we when we propose grants like uh, some quotations and some something or no no we, no just uh, a just, table approximate a approximate uh, expenditures yes so but if your accommodation is one lakh for example you'll have to pay some guest house or something you know Absolutely. however subsidized or, or say for example uh, travel for speakers is one lakh uh, where are you going to raise the total budget is also something we will want to know because we oh, will give is, you two lakhs okay that is my second question that uh, do we need to explain the the total budget of the event say for example like five lakhs we are thinking of around five lakh last time we did around with around four lakhs we had 155 okay. faculty members uh, okay. at Kolkata. It was two days and uh, we were uh, really, I think it was really good. Uh, Vishu yes. was definitely one of the part. Uh, India Biosense was there. Um, yes. And we had uh, we had other uh, like really uh, eminent scientists all over here. So, so I'm just thinking, say, for example, five lakh or six lakh, say, then should yes. we uh, explain the total six lakh, say, expected two lakhs from uh, India Biosense and the other? I, I think we would, uh, yes, because the concern is that if you are not able to raise the additional four lakh, mm -hmm. then this whole meeting will not happen. Yes. Even if we provide two lakhs. So Absolutely. do mention the full budget, the total budget, two lakhs, of course, we will provide. Yeah. And where is the rest coming intended to come from? We would yes. just like you to, we would like to know that you have a plan. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And my last question is that uh, the timing, I mean, hmm. we were thinking uh, last time we did in February. So we were thinking in, you know, it is so hot. So uh, maybe December to uh, February yes. is a good time to hold it in Kolkata. So yes, that's fine. That's fine with us. Before March 31st, 2024. Yes, yes sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. I mean, during this financial year. Yes. Yes. Please. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Hello, we will uh, definitely submit and uh, I'm look hoping forward that to it. we'll be able to uh, do it here. Yeah. We look yeah, forward to it. it. Look forward Thank to you. it. Thank so, Brian and Visu, we look forward to it. Um, Bilal, yes. uh, you may uh, ask your question. Yes. Uh, very good. Good, good afternoon, ma'am. So, Hello, it was very wonderful. It's, it's really a great initiative. Rather, I have attended some of these young investigators meeting as a postdoctoral fellow as well as, as a young investigator. While I think in 2015, when it was in Gulmarg, Srinagar also, that time I attended as a yes. young investigator, yes. as, as a postdoctoral fellow. Then in, I think, Guwahati, I have attended as, as a young investigator. So Manjula was there. So thank you very much for always being there. So yes. I, I have a question that in, if I, I, I'm basically from Kashmir. So I wanted to hold one and uh, in in Kashmir, but as you know that we don't have much of the institutions in around in around in Kashmir. So while inviting people from outside, so budget budget in Kashmir it goes tremendously very high. So okay. but, but for that uh, for the, because traveling other things it is very expensive mm -hmm. when, while in Kashmir. In that context, can we have some liberty in the funding or the funding is exactly two, two lakh? It you cannot go beyond. Yeah, it is two exactly lakh. two lakh. It so is beyond. Beyond two that we cannot go beyond. Um, like I said, the crafting your career we are offering uh, at no yeah. cost, and our travel for this workshop will be at no cost to you. We will cover that, but we can't go beyond that, unfortunately. But there are DBT and other agencies that would be happy to support a meeting in Kashmir. So you yeah. could get in touch with them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, yes. that, that's, also, that's you okay. You can charge a registration fee to the participants. That, that's, that's okay. Even registration fee, even my institution, University yeah. of Kashmir, is going to give some money also. That's not. Okay, but that's, great. The important thing is that uh, while we don't have much institutions here, because uh, for last, I think, for last so many years, there, was, there has been no recruitment even. 
but in that context can we narrow down the the this cost uh, co investigators or we can say this co sponsor to our institution or it has to be uh, from different institutions it doesn't have to be like you said we encourage it if it's a genuine situation like yours we will consider it but at least try to have one or two more institutes in yeah yeah that 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 yes. that i'm that, yeah. that i i'm i because when it was the advertisement was there but when i have i have seen an email that time i have talked with few people i i, I do Definitely. i am in contact with two or three people but Great. maybe one or two people i will be inviting from my own university so yes. i'm interested to even hold uh, organize this one meeting in kashmir and you all are welcome. wonderful yes <laughs> we look forward to it we look forward to your application so, and yes yeah, we look yeah. forward to it so I'll, please it's again these are guidelines these are yeah, guidelines there's going to be no rejection based on having six organizers or based on having three institutes but we would be a little concerned if it's only one institute no it won't for be. example yes it yes. won't be <laughs> if i can add if you have you know other please, please uh, universities uh, close by so you can also invite universities it may not be you know only institute so yeah. if you want to so just yeah yeah that that way i will try to help to i will try I try to include two or three institutions that's for sure okay, <laughs> that's definitely. for sure thank you thank you thank uh, you maybe what thank we you. can do is now there are some i'm getting some private chats maybe we take those Uh, Bishu, would you like to ask your question, and yes, then we I, take I those? Uh... Doctor Meer, that you know, IKP has IKP and CCMB has a conservation lab in uh, Kashmir, and uh, we'll be very yeah. happy to you know connect those people yeah. and uh, participate in wonderful the weekend. Wonderful. Yeah, CCMB, yeah, they, they, they do have a lab in in the in the in a cord in our institution. Yes. yes, are you are you part of that, Bishu? Yes, the equipment was given by IKP, and we'll be very happy to connect with local people or even come uh, you know as part of something in case. Wonderful. People. On okay, for Vishu and Bilal, the whole purpose of this webinar has been solved. Yeah, thank you very much, Vishu. Point. I will, I, I'll, I'll be in contact with you also, Vishu. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, just before we take more questions from the uh, live questions, Suchi Manjula, I'll just take the chat window because they have somehow privately messaged me. So, uh, so uh, Gunjan asks, uh, she's unable to talk, but she's typed it. Co-organizer should be from the same city, region, or anywhere in India. No, it should be from the same region. It doesn't have to be same city. It can be same city. Different institute, or two, three from the same institute. You know, like for example, Bilal in your case, but from the same region. Co-organizers have to be from the same region. I hope that is clear. Um, so, Shri Manjula, please do add inputs. Similarly, Gunjan asks, should participants be from same? Yes, we we mentioned this in the meeting page. Participants, there should be a strong presence of participants from the region. It doesn't mean it's not open to other, but it's a regional meeting. So there should be strong presence from the region. i hope that answers your question um uh, abhiram asks can post docs be co hosts no it has to be young investigator it's a young investigator driven apologies abhiram but when you are young investigator most definitely you can surely attend the meeting any of the meetings wherever they are also another question um no other so another thing it can't be anyone from abroad post the young investigators have to be based in india we've mentioned that also and broadly life scientists broadly again we've not been very specific with that yes uh, chandana asks in the proposed budget should there be split of the entire meeting or yes um, no you should mention the total meeting budget and you know how you plan to raise the additional funds can a dhr young scientist but not in permanent position apply it is you don't have to be permanent position like we said ramalinga swami ramanujan dst inspire india alliance it has to be an independent position it has to be qualified as a young investigator independent it doesn't mean it has to be permanent so if your institute is ready to provide you a letter saying that a dhr young scientist is an independent position which is one of the requirements for the application then yes you are eligible um then there's another question what about inter regional for example east and northeast yes yes biswarup that will work east and northeast for example definitely that will work okay um any other questions or maybe mohan asks can we have co organizer for chemistry and engineering um i think we will yeah i mean it's life sciences it's life sciences I, I hope that answers that sort of. Yes, thank you, Shubhra. You had a question. You raised your hand. Yeah, just uh, um, uh, regarding the co-organizers. So the co-organizers yeah. they need to attend the uh, uh, YIM, like the national yeah. YIM. 
we've uh, mentioned it, it. No, they don't have to have a tenth. No, no. Okay. 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 Thank you. Um, Yes, while we are waiting for more questions, while we all digest this information. Um, so any other questions related to eligibility? Uh, hello, uh, I'm Manjiri from uh, University of Hyderabad. Again, about the co-organizer, uh, is it like uh, because of the logistic region, all the co-organizers also should be from the same city? Like I understand the region part, but suppose I am uh, from University of Hyderabad. So the other co-organizer can be from somewhere from... Uh, uh, south of like Tamil Nadu, somewhere from um, Kerala. So it can be yes, such setup. Yes. So it yes. will not be from the same city. Doesn't have to be. No, okay. doesn't have to be. Thank you. But I mean, you'll have to logistically work out which place you're going to do it. Yeah, that, that's what. Because yes. the co-presenter also need to meet sometime or... Ex yeah. I mean, ideally, yes. Uh, you okay. know. Yeah, so you just have to think that through. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. Bhavana? Uh, yes. Hi, Karishma. Very informative presentation. So I just have uh, this question. Uh, we already have set up a team in this region of uh, North, Northeast. But then, and we have already like distributed on, um, to our friends that, you know, we are organizing this regional young investigator meet. But we want inclusion from small universities and private universities also. Like we really want, we are really looking forward to that. So in that case, uh, will India Bioscience help us to write to directors of those universities uh, to nominate, like maybe to nominate one or two young investigators from their universities? Uh, no, no. That is something we will not do. That has to come from the organizing team. So it's really driven by you all. We want you all to come up with the team. So no, that we won't. Okay. But definitely you will help us uh, distribute the word to directors and to yes, institutions. Yes. Through our newsletter, email, social media. Yes, through email. Yes. 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 We will send a letter. We... I don't know from where this background. We can help you with a letter for funding, for example, but not to nominate a young investigator. No, that we won't. That has to come from the community. I don't run past. Thank you. Um, wondering if there are any more questions. Any more questions related to raising additional funding sources? Okay, not yet. I guess I guess we have it covered then. Uh, anything else before we start winding down? If you have more questions, you can write to us at ryim at indiabioscience.org. Even, you know, just write and type the questions and send it here. Yeah. Maybe in the chat box, I guess, Karishma, you are typing it? Yes, yes. And That's our email. Mm. Okay. Uh, 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 that was a very uh, minor question, but I was just uh, wanted to ask. So, regarding the postdoc, um, last time when we did it, uh, I, it was all the YIs because we had a pretty big number. Uh, but uh, since you were talking about the postdoc, so normal I, YIM means the national ones, they of course they have the postdocs. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, is it like, um, I mean, we were thinking this time that there are a significant number of postdocs. PTRAs were working in different labs, so a particular for a session for them as well. Uh, that is, well, I guess that is okay, right? That is uh, fine. Uh, because one part of the YIM, the national YIM, is to, you know, talk to them about the possibility of jobs and uh, uh, other uh, openings that are... Uh, yes. how to, uh, so these things, uh, this regional IM, we, we did talk about the collaborations, how to make collaborations, or how we can come close together, like you know, a small team and big team, uh, but yes, not certainly. not job wise because you know we probably didn't have that much of uh, ability uh, to uh, like uh, national national wise. Yes. So, no, you can uh, as participants. Postdocs are welcome. They are welcome. Yes. Okay. Not as co-organizers. That no, has no, to be no, a YI. No, of course not. Yes. We will absolutely uh, we will have a welcome. small small meeting then, uh, like you know, absolutely uh, one session for the postdoc. 
yes yeah. very much we look forward to that kind of out of the box thinking for a meeting you know we'd okay. like to see such suggestions come up in your program schedule okay okay absolutely please we look forward to your application absolutely okay. um sure, we'll chandra questions yes. if i have more i mean please um, please very much send us an email um, you know we have many channels of communication with the community at india bioscience so please get in touch we look forward to your application yes uh, manjula suchi uh, chandana has a question you mentioned in your slide that india bioscience will help additional for sources that's just advice suggestions invitation letter exactly chandana you said it you said it um, if you need a letter for a dbt grant for example if you need a letter for a biotech sponsorship that's it we will not raise additional funding we will help you suggest suggest give you a letter that's it yes but again you can charge a registration fee so do keep that in mind when you are making a budget please do keep that in mind hello you, yes. you, you, you are you are helping in raising the additional budget uh, uh, providing the letter for uh, additional budget after the successful application is or before that also you know after because what would be the point before that yes, yes that's, after that's that point. yes that's after point. that when, when, when the application is successful you will help those only those that, that are successful application you will help them in raising the other Okay. Yeah, because for the application stage, Bilal, we really need you to be able to say that my institute can provide this, or you know, yes. this is my yes. plan. We don't really yes. need yes. to have the funding committed. Yes. That I will contact biotech companies. I will yes. apply yes. for a SERP grant or whatever. For yes. example. Yes. 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 That's okay. Then, if oh. you need a letter, we can provide that. Okay. Thank you. Karishma, when you say registration fee for applicants, is it only for selected applicants or for all? Uh, so it's an open meeting. I I don't think they will need to undergo a huge selection process. Mm -hmm. So pretty mm -hmm. much anyone who registers will be welcome to apply, welcome to attend, and yes, then everyone will be can be charged a registration fee. Okay. Yes. um but then if you do have a registration fee budget it into your total budget and another thing you know do try and provide some travel grants for phd students or some child care grants for example try and keep that in mind that's a suggestion again okay i don't see any more questions coming up so yeah, i guess we're done here <laughs> lot of information uh, but um, yeah thank you so much for your presence thank you i mean, it, it, this is like sort of a mega experiment that we are conducting because we don't know what the response will be oh, mamuni has a question great great hi hello mamuni nice so, to see to you to see you <laughs> yes nice uh, reshma this is small uh, a clarification i've been listening to it or on and off so the team that you uh, want us to form it's yes. not one per institution like we from the same institution we can rob in yis plus venture into other institutions in the locality right yes uh, exactly what bilal was saying you can have two from one institute you know okay one from one one from one and so oh. on and it doesn't have to be one per no and i i believe this is just a guideline the number that is given from you is just a guideline we could yes. be less or more yes i mean less is you know less than two is one so can two people sort of put together a meeting that's something you'll have to think about yeah but it can no. certainly be more more okay yeah that's a two to four but it can be more but it's a lot of work so do think about yes. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, that will help you get the work and done. Yes, yes exactly, yes. exactly. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome, Mamuni. Nice to see you. Uh, all right. Any more questions? But our email is always there. Please get in touch. Yes, Suchi. Please go ahead. Oh, I thought Suchi had a question. Sorry. Okay. No, no. <laughs> all right. No problem. So great to see you all. Like I was saying, it's an experiment. This time we really wanted to be even more community driven rather than we reach out, you build teams. and we are happy to provide you with the funding and the other kind of support importantly we are very happy to be there once we award you the regional lm we look forward to actually being there at your meeting and the option for the crafting your career workshop is always there so with that i think uh, manjula maybe we take a group pick and then i'll give the closing remarks and we are done krishna can i add a point you know for the yeah.
centers you know uh, like hyderabad or pune and jodhpur they have uh, regional innovation clusters supported by psa so usually uh, you know if the new pis are there and if somebody is completely new they can go to these centers and they actually already working with institutes you will get actually funding and also the oia support okay all right these clusters all right or uh, you know for bangalore bio cluster they will be actually Correct. already connected with most of these institutes it really helps definitely that's a very good idea vishnu thank you thank you so i hope that's enough food for thought for all the yis who have joined here email us if you have any questions and now manjula is it time for a photograph uh, yes please i mean if you can just turn on your cameras if possible so we can just take a picture so you keep that as a preliminary criteria for applying then everybody will switch on <laughs> <laughs> or we have to update the meeting page yeah. <laughs> Vishu always has a very innovative ideas. <laughs> we can see that. We can see that. <laughs> nice to see you, Vishu. You know, young investigator. I work in uh, IKP in the grants management. Uh, thanks to you know many of you I met in your institutes and looking forward. Thanks to India Bioscience. Actually, it has been excellent. Um, thank thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vishu. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, Vishu was very helpful for us as well at the start and still now. Uh, Wonderful. Wonderful, Smita and Manjula. Yes, yes. Thank you. So yes, I have taken the picture. All right, Manjula. You have a few, so you can uh, check out which one most of us are looking fine in. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. Okay. So thank you all for joining the session. Thanks for your interest. We look forward to your application, and please get in touch on email for any further queries or clarifications. We are happy right. to work with you towards this application. Thank you All very right. much. It was Have really, really informative. Thank you. Thank you, Shubhra. Thank you so much. Have a great thank, weekend. Thank you very much. Have a great.